I'm Karina Tech, author of Scolio Pilates. This exercise program that I'm getting ready to share with you is for a three or a four curve. I'm going to do the setup for a four curve, but I'll explain the, the three curve as well. So you're going to start with your wedges and you're going to lie back down. Actually, let's start on our sides. So for four curve, you're going to start on your right side. For three curve, you're going to start on your left side. Whatever hip is protruding, so if you're standing up looking in the mirror, whatever hip sticks out, that's the side you lie on. So if it's the right side, which is typical for four curve, you're going to lie on the right side and you're going to keep the right ribs lifted up here. You're going to turn the toes to touch each other and the knees apart. So knees together, knees apart, and together and apart. Keep the ribs lifted and down and up and down and up and let's do six more down and up and five and up keep the rib lifted and four if you're a three curve you're probably on the left hip doing this and two more two and down and one and down extend the left leg and you're going to lift it up and back down. As you do that, don't let the ribs touch. And you're not going very high here. Lead slightly with the heel so that you're not rotated here. Lead slightly with the heel. Seven more. Up and down. And six. And down. Five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good job. Lift and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold the leg again, open the knee, extend the leg, flex the foot, and come down. Fold the knee, open the knee, extend, flex the foot, and come down. And fold and open and extend and down and fold and open it is so windy out here <laughs> it is really cold on my back and open and extend and down and fold open and Gus won't be in this video he's hiding behind John our film our uh, camera guy today and down and together and open and up and down and together and open and up and down okay so continuing I want you to roll onto your back and now you'll grab your wedges so for three and four curve where the lumbar spine is um, popping out and so is the right thoracic the left lumbar and the right thoracic the large wedge goes underneath the left lumbar the small wedge goes underneath the right thoracic for three curve, you're going to leave your feet right here. For four curve, you're going to pop the left leg out. If you have a little stool to set it on, that would be that would be perfect. Otherwise, you can leave it down for now, but find yourself a stool to prop it on. I'm going to pretend I have a stool here for now to leave it here. <clears throat> From here, I want you to practice breathing. Inhale, elongate the spine, top of the head, and tailbone pull in two different directions and when you exhale the right hip goes down and the left rib goes down inhale elongate exhale right hip left rib go down to the mat inhale elongate exhale right hip left rib again inhale and exhaling inhale and exhaling inhale and exhaling this could be a chair by the way you could be resting your leg on a chair here inhale and exhale inhale and exhale for the next one extend your right leg down you can still leave that left leg open if you're a four curve a three curve just leave it straight up four curve it opens Inhale, elongate. Exhale, those two points go down and lift your right leg up. 
Inhale, elongate. Exhale, the right hip and the left rib go down. Lift the right leg up. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, down. And then lift the leg. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, those two points down. And lift. <clears throat> Inhale, elongate the spine. Head one direction, pelvis in the other. Push the rib and the hip down. Lift the leg. Inhale, elongate. And exhale, lift. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, lifting. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, lifting. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, lifting. One more time. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhaling. Okay, I think that's enough in this wind. Let me know if you have any questions. <laughs>